Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm very, very excited to have you here today. In today's video, we will be talking about how thrifting can help to define your unique personal style. Up until a few years ago, I was not very much into thrifting. Although when I was a kid, my mom used to get secondhand clothes either through a thrift store or through friends that she had to help supplement my wardrobe. We were not wealthy at all. And this was one of the ways that my mom helped to make the budget stretch. I have to say that as a kid, I had some really cool personal style because I had my mom dressing me and she would dress me in the most unique and beautiful clothing that I think I've ever worn in my life. It was a lot of fun getting dressed back then. And as I grew older, I stopped going to thrift stores. I no longer really liked it. I'm gonna be honest, it kind of creeped me out a little bit. Through the last few years, I have actually changed my mind about thrifting. I really, really love thrifting. I think thrifting is one of the best ways that you can find unique pieces to help supplement your wardrobe and to help give your wardrobe a really unique look and feel, something that aligns with your own unique personal style. Thrifting is not only good for helping to define your personal style, it's also good for the planet. It's a sustainable practice. It is also very budget friendly. <laughs> You know, you can find some really, really great pieces for way, way under their actual market value. And uh, you can have all of these really cool, unique pieces in your wardrobe to make your wardrobe sing, as I like to say. Looking at it from the perspective of a personal stylist, it's actually an awesome, awesome and fun way of really expanding your wardrobe. So I'm gonna go over some of the different things that I look for when I am thrifting to help find those unique pieces in hopes that it can help you when you go thrifting. Before we get into it though, my name is Aralia. As I mentioned, I am a personal stylist and the content that I provide here on YouTube is all around style, fashion, and lifestyle for the plus size woman. I am a firm believer that life is way too short to live without style. I post content three times a week on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. So if my content resonates with you, then please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss anything here on my channel. If you are a returning friend, welcome back. I'm so excited to see you again. As I mentioned, thrifting can be a lot of fun and it can serve two different purposes, honestly. You can use thrifting to help find unique pieces for your wardrobe, or you can use thrifting to help find really good basics for your wardrobe. When I go out thrifting, I look for garments that have unique features and are different from what I've got in my closet in some form or fashion, whether that be the pattern, whether that be the structure, whether that be um, the fabrics, uh, all kinds of different unique features that I look for. And I make sure that they can work with my existing wardrobe. Take for instance, the sweater that I'm wearing right now. This particular sweater was actually my very, very first thrift store find when I was started thrifting again in the last couple of years. And the minute I saw it, I knew I had to have it because it was so cool. It has a really nice U-shaped neckline. It's got stripes on like the first half of the top. And then it's got like this dark navy blue band at the bottom part of the sweater. And why I liked it was because it, pro it provided um, kind of like the illusion of a high waist or an ampere waist. For me being petite and apple shaped, that was the perfect thing. I could see so many possibilities in this sweater, not to mention the sleeves. I really, really loved the fact that it had wide sleeves, which makes this sweater, because it is a thin knit, um, it makes it easy to wear during the summer. Now, all of these style elements that I had in this particular sweater really spoke to me and I snagged it up. And it's those things that have made this particular piece fit wonderfully in my wardrobe. When you look for unique features, like it has lace at the bottom, or it's got satin lapels, or it's got a unique pattern. When you look for all of those types of things while you're thrifting, you can really find some very, very good pieces that can work in your wardrobe. But you should be mindful, you should be thinking always about how is this going to work in my existing wardrobe? Do I have three or 
four different ways that I could possibly wear this particular garment. Do I need to buy other garments in order to make it work? Things like that. So it's just like shopping for regular clothes. You want to ask yourself those questions because the, the danger inherent with thrifting is that you find a piece that is amazing but doesn't quite fit with your personal style, doesn't quite fit into your closet, but because it's such a deal, you wanna buy it anyway. It's that temptation that I would caution you against. Don't buy it just because it's fantastic. You really, really have to be mindful and make sure that you understand how it's going to fit in with your personal style. And as a personal stylist, that would be the advice that I would give you because the goal is to help make your wardrobe unique, but still make sure that it is working. Another great way that I like using thrifting is when I'm looking to fill in gaps in my wardrobe. And here is where I'm talking about finding some really, really good basics. For instance, in my very first thrifted look for less challenge, I came across this chambray shirt. It's a Calvin Klein chambray shirt. It is fantastic. It is one of my most worn pieces in my wardrobe because it is so incredibly basic and it was something that I did not have in my wardrobe at the time. Chambray is very, very versatile. So this was an instance where I found a really, really great basic piece that I could make work in my wardrobe in many, many different ways. I think I paid like maybe eight, nine dollars for it and it is like really a staple in my current wardrobe, even two years after I bought it. It's those things that you can do to help to supplement your current basics if you feel that you've got a gap somewhere in your wardrobe. Now, one of the biggest tips in thrifting, especially for basics like button down shirts and blazers and such is looking in the men's department. In the men's department, there are a lot of larger sizes. So if you are plus size, that would be an easy way for you to get uh, a shirt, you know, that you know is going to fit you well. It's those types of ways that you can help to supplement your current basics and fill in those gaps in your wardrobe. One of the other ways that I like using thrifting is when I am looking for occasion wear. Instead of running out to the store to go buy some brand new pretty sequin dress, you can easily turn to thrifting. Thrifting a evening attire is not that hard. It's actually quite easy and I've gotten a few pieces mostly from thread up. A location is important when you're thrifting and if you go to a thrift store that is in a more affluent neighborhood, you're likely to find some really beautiful occasion wear. Even still, you can look to online places like ThreadUp and Poshmark and, and those types of places to find yourself some really beautiful, beautiful occasion wear that is less expensive. I guess what I'm trying to get at here is that if you have a wedding or something that's coming up and you don't feel like investing a lot of money in a dress, then absolutely go to the thrift store and pick up some things. Another really nice formal wear piece that I found that is I consider a very strong basic is this tuxedo jacket. Again, I found it on ThreadUp. This video is not sponsored by ThreadUp in any way, shape or form. It's just that happens to be one of my favorite thrifting outlets. And so I found it on ThreadUp and I felt it was absolutely stunning because I think that everybody needs to have at least one tuxedo blazer or tuxedo jacket in their wardrobe because it immediately dresses up any outfit. Another thing about thrifting is that it makes it easy to participate in the trends. I always say that trends are fun and they're great and you should participate in trends if you really enjoy doing that but don't spend a lot of money on the trend because it may not stick around. As a personal stylist, you know, in a consultation, if you were interested in something trendy, I might take you to a thrift store to go shopping because that way we can look for something that fits the trend and you're not spending a whole lot of money. Accessories that you find while you're thrifting tend to be one of a kind, especially handbags and jewelry. I find all kinds of cool jewelry and handbags when I go thrifting. I guess what I'm getting at here in this point is that it really is good to use the thrift store to find unique jewelry pieces. It is those opportunities that you have, even at the level of accessories, that you can find really, really cool one-of-a-kind type pieces that will really make your personal style stand out 
from the crowd. Use it as an opportunity to find amazing things that you can put into your wardrobe and wear and enjoy. And the compliments, of course, are gonna come because those pieces are so cool. That's the power of thrifting. Thrifting can be so much fun. And I know that a lot of you know that because I know that a lot of you watch my Thrifted Look for Less challenges and, and really, really enjoy them. So I just wanted to bring this quick video to you just so that that way I could show you from the perspective of a personal stylist how I see thrifting and how I feel that it can really, really help to make your wardrobe something amazing. If you are interested in having a personal stylist help you out and help take a look at your closet and your wardrobe and help you to define your personal style and dress yourself for whatever occasion you might be thinking of, then my services are available. I am currently taking one-on-one -on -one clients. Drop by my website. I will have it linked down below and book an appointment with me for a free 30 minute consultation where we can sit down and I will talk with you about what your style goals are. Then we can talk about what steps we can take to help get you there. I will have that link down below. So don't forget to drop by if you are interested in chatting with me and uh, seeing how I can help you to improve your personal style or to even find your personal style if you feel like it's a little lost right now. Thank you as always for spending a few minutes of your time with me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. I will see you in my next upload. Bye.